KSBW Weather. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. At the top of the show, we, told, we showed you the rainfall totals from the whole weekend. Here are the 24-hour totals from yesterday until today. Boulder Creek, two and a half inches. Santa Cruz, just under an inch. Scotts Valley, about an inch, a little bit closer to one and a half inches. In Watsonville and on the peninsula, a lot of big numbers still. Just around one inch for most. Big Sur came in just under two inches. Monterey, uh, yeah, just one inch there, or not 0.99 inches. And in the Salinas Valley, Salinas Valley got quite a bit of rain in the last 24 hours as well from Salinas 1.13 Greenfield 0.58 and even King City just over one inch of rain and then up in the Santa Clara Valley right around an inch as well Gilroy 1.18 and San Jose came in at 0.89 inches highs today not much of a spread there Santa Cruz County 54 to 61 most places were in the middle to upper 50s Santa Cruz our weather watcher came in at 61 degrees, so maybe a little bit of a downslope wind helped to warm things up there. Monterey Peninsula, 56 to 59. Salinas Valley, a couple degrees spread there, 56 to 58. And Santa Clara Valley, 56 to 58 as well. And the winds kept things going, keep the temperatures alike. Hey, look at this, SkyCam 8 Soledad. Palo Escrito that shot this this afternoon. There's snow in those hills. That's kind of a cool thing. We don't get that that often, but that was nice to see. And here we are right now, SkyCam 8 Monterey, high atop the Embassy Suite. Now we're starting to see some cracks in the clouds, some clearing going on there, a few little showers hanging out, but for the most part, we are done with the rain for this batch. Temperature right now in Monterey, 55 degrees. The dew point's at 62. A little bit blustery out there. A west wind at 18 miles per hour right now. Most of us right now still in the 50s. Watsonville, 53 degrees. Gilroy, you're at 50. Monterey talked about that at 55 and Salinas right here. We are at 54 degrees right now. Here is the radar. A few showers moved through. This started at 12 o'clock. So we had some showers move in from the north to the south. But now we're looking at most of those showers past us. Maybe a few heading down just south of Salinas toward Soledad, taking 101 south there. A few showers in the Santa Lucia range. A little pop-up shower up towards Gilroy. But that is about it. Most of the rain is done. Here's the upper level system here. You can see that trough of low pressure counterclockwise rotation there. Plenty of snow in the Sierra Nevada, Southern California getting hit pretty hard right now. The good news is if you don't like the break and the rain, we'll get a little break, a break for tomorrow. So some clearing in here, but then the next storm on its way off the coast and that'll start to bring chances of rain tomorrow night. So let's go ahead and time this out here with our five day future cast. There's the trough of low pressure. It's going to push off to the south and to the east and then tomorrow mostly dry. We start to get some clouds into the picture tomorrow afternoon again and then overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday. We'll just call it a chance for rain. Best chances will be Santa Cruz County and north north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Not out of the question. We could still get some showers on the Monterey Peninsula and a little bit south or down toward King City, probably not anything tomorrow. And then by Thursday, then we get another punch, a good solid storm Thursday, Northern California, and it's going to sag that south all the way through Friday. So plenty of rain with this one as we go through Thursday and Friday, and then it slowly kicks on out of here. Right now, Saturday for your weekend plans look dry, but things change awfully quick there. Lee will keep you updated all week long. Same with Arthur. And then we look out here at the next storm coming in uh, for Sunday. Sunday starts to look wet. We'll time out the winds for tomorrow or tonight. Strong gusty winds out of the north will push those clouds to the south, but still some gusty winds, especially along the peaks. And then we'll see some rain showers start to develop potentially there about by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. All righty, as far as your temperatures go, mainly 60s for tomorrow, low 60s overnight lows, mainly in the, the uh, upper 40s and some low 50s out there and down the Santa Clara Valley. A little bit chilly there, 38 for Gilroy, 39 for Hollister, 60s for our highest tomorrow, and in the Salinas Valley, upper 30s for Greenfield and King City, middle 60s for our highest tomorrow on the Monterey Peninsula, upper 50s and low 60s lows, mainly in the low 40s, and up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, upper 30s, so chilly up there, low 60s all the way down to the beaches. So here's the seven-day forecast. Tuesday dry, mostly sunny, and then clouds increase. Wednesday, chance for showers. Thursday, Friday, we'll call it a, a solid storm again, a good looking storm. Saturday right now looks to be dry. Sunday, Monday, wet. Going into early next week, we continue with the unsettled weather and just some of our overnight lows here. Not too terribly cold after we get through tonight, but very active and it continues to be active going into next week as well. Really? Yes. So this is El Nino. Wow. It's 
It's happening. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're back. We're, yeah, getting, it took, it took, a month <laughs> took a month off, but you know, yeah. this is good news for us, right? Yeah. We sure. need it as long as we don't, I mean, it's, you know. It's always going to cause We had problems. trouble, right. you know, and we don't like the problems, but we do need the rain and as well. And the sure. nice little breaks in between. True, so. for sure.